Good morning and welcome to this Wednesday morning real estate bulletin. The main points are Lodha Group plans to resume sales at Trump Tower Mumbai after a post election hiatus providing a test for India's languishing luxury home market and the US president's brand. It will resume marketing apartments in the 75 story development in the next few months. The building is about 60% sold and on target to be completed in 2019. Gurgaon, a name which is now synonymous with failed real estate projects, has another one lined up, the Signature 2 project. The project has premium villas in sector 82 booked in 2008 primarily by NRIs. Nearly a decade later, having made most of the payment, construction of the villas is far from over. A few units are ready for possession. Some more are currently under construction, but for a majority of the unit, construction has not even begun. There are 163 units in the project. Work is yet to start for around 50 units. Disgruntled buyers alleged that for the units whose construction is complete, the developer is asking for a huge additional payment, claiming built-up area has increased, even though the villa's total plot size hasn't changed. An FIR was registered against the developer in May 2016 and during the investigation it was found that the land on which the delayed units were supposed to be constructed is under litigation. The Lodha Group, a Mumbai based property developer, may acquire as much as 15% of projects company Vascon Engineers seeking to tap into the expanding demand for affordable housing in India. The board of Pune based Vascon Engineers will meet tomorrow to consider issuing compulsory convertible debentures through private placement. Lodha Finserve, the investment arm of Lodha Ventures, will subscribe to the convertible debentures. With the reins of the UP government in new hands, Yamuna Expressway Industrial Development Authority has decided to revive the high-speed metro link project between Greater Noida and the proposed international airport at Jawar. The corridor was first proposed by Jeda Board in February 2014 and again in June 2015. In June 2016, the DMRC had told Jeda it was too early to prepare a techno-economic feasibility report for the proposed corridor and suggested that it be done after 5 years. According to Jeda officials, they decided to revive the project in order to provide connectivity to the rapidly urbanizing area. The proposed 35 km metro track will be aligned at the road level along the Yamuna Expressway. It will link the zero point of Yamuna Expressway in Greater Noida to Jeda's proposed Jawar Airport. That's all we have in today's bulletin. Hope you are following the Delhi MCD results. See you tomorrow morning. Jai.